Hi, this is Donna from PHP Fox, and I'm going to take you on a tour of V4.3 on our demo. I'm logged in, and I'm on the home page here. You can see there are 80 updates in the feed, and if I click that, it's going to show them down below here. You've got the friends online here, then I've got a few friends, and it shows a count here, so if you have more than will show on the block, uh, you'll have a count of how many friends are online. Featured events show, and you can actually go and click on that event and see what's going on there. If we go back to our home page, we have the new albums that show up. We've got some people who've been loading some songs here. We have our featured listings from the marketplace, and you can see it has little thumbnails here to show some of the other images that were for that uh, listing. Our featured photo, and this will change. Uh, it'll rotate based on all the different photos in there, so you won't see the same one each time. Pokes, we got some people who have poked me, and I guess I'll just poke them back. Our trending topics, will let us see what's popular here with this hashtag, and if we had some more we could look at those as well. And we have a sponsored ad here, and users can make more ads. Um, you set the rate yourself. We have a what's on your mind um, block here, where you can just put some status in there, and you can choose who to uh, share it to, whether you want a custom list, which is pretty cool. So if you, maybe you want to share something to just specific friends, you can have them in a custom list and share stuff just to them. You can add photos and videos, whether you want to upload or just paste a URL from YouTube or some other such place. Our blog section here, and you'll notice this featured block, uh, the sponsored block here will show throughout the site uh, because it's an ad. Um, but here's our blogs, and you've got categories, and you can see your own blogs and your friend friends' blogs. Our members, um, I'm friends with just about everybody on the site, so there aren't going to be many that show up here for me, but for your users, they'd see some other recommended users here that they could maybe be friends with and connect with. Um, they can search, and they can even search by the custom fields that you might have set on your site. Our photo section has a nice layout, and you can see some of the images here, and you can just click one, and maybe you want to tag somebody in it. This one doesn't have its privacy set uh, for no downloads, so this one can be downloaded, but your users can choose whether they want that or not. And you can see the username and the date and where uh, this is loaded. It's loaded to an album called Scenes. The forum has a nice advanced search feature, and you can see recent discussions over here. Um, with the advanced search, it's got a nice um, input field here and uh, nice and clear options. Our polls look really nice when they have images here um, and if they don't have an image it's going to put this no image available just so that it keeps the uniform look and it doesn't get all you know crazy looking. Same thing with quizzes if somebody didn't load an image it will just show this no image available and of course it looks better with an image. Uh, let's go to this one again. And you can take the quiz and you can see I tested this one and <laughs> got zero. You can view the results and see what I did there. I was just quickly testing through that one and you can see who's taken it. The events has a nice format so that it's really easy to see the date that an event is starting and the time um, this one didn't have an image, but you can see this one does. And I'll click that so we can look at it a little more. You can see I chose to attend this one, so I'm going to be flying to Switzerland, apparently. Um, you can see who's attending, who might be attending. You can invite people to your events. In music, you can see the songs here, or you can choose to see the albums and 
this one didn't load a, an image here, so you can't really see an album image on that one, but it shows how many songs are in the album. Our marketplace, we have some sponsored listings, and you can see there's a nice sponsored block there, and they show up at the top of uh, the listings, and they show up over here in this block. Um, it also shows these listings that I've been invited to. Uh, several people have invited me to view their listings. Here are the featured listings, just like you saw on the home page. Um, if I want to go and look at this listing, I can see how much it's selling for. And if you had more than one image with it, I could scroll through. Let's see if we can find one with more than one image. Probably this one. Well, it doesn't show any. Let's see this one. Now this one has more than one image with it. See, it's got some down here. So I can scroll through that. And it's got a nice little scroller here. And there were no more images for that one, but they look pretty nice. They're nice and big and easy to see. Our pages is where your users can make fan pages or groups. Um, you can see they can make them similar to Facebook. Um, our groups are down right here under this area. And you can see I've created one here. Um, this group is a group for approval so that if somebody joins this group they have to be approved before they can actually be a member of the group. And here I can see that three people have asked to join this group and I can just click that and I can approve them or not. So it's really simple here. Just click and approve. And there you have it. Easy to manage. Videos. If you set your site to allow video uploads, your users can upload videos or they can just share one from YouTube, which is, you know, or other sites such as Daily Motion or whatever other sites they might want to share them from um, for the list that is allowed. Up here you can see that I have some notifications. Somebody tried to chat with me. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, somebody has done some things, commented and tagged me in the status and all of that. Here somebody is talking with me. I can click that and say hello. And if I had any friends requests, which I'd already cleared those out today, they would show up here. If your users want to manage their various things, except they won't see this, you will. Um, they can go to manage their account and their profile and friends. And this is where they can create those custom lists I spoke of uh, early on. And they can see their incoming and pending. Go to my profile and you see I've got a cover banner uh, loaded here. Um, you can see my friends and if, because they don't all fit in this blog, if I click that, you can see all the rest of them here on this page. And these people don't have any any uh, profile pictures, so it just loads a default background with their initials, which somebody apparently is creating a lot of accounts to test with. But if they had, see, a first name and last name, it shows AC. Now, if I don't like my background, my banner, I can manage that as well. My info is all seen here. If I click something like that, I can go and see the members here. When I go to search, I can see everything that comes up for test. And then I can see members that come up for test. So I can view all results or members. And that's about it. There's um, a lot of nice features here in V4.3. And the bootstrap theme is responsive. So it will change based on the device that's using it. I'm using it from a desktop, I mean from a laptop right now. If I had my desktop, it would expand to the size of that screen. If I go on my mobile device, it would shrink uh, to fit that screen. 
Um, I would show you by changing the browser, but that really doesn't do it right. Um, you really have to be on the device to see how it works, because that's how it does it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this brief tour of the 4.3. Thank you for watching. Bye.